Blog Talk Radio. Mr. Pop. The views and opinions of this show do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of this network and its affiliates. At Midwest IT Support Help Desk, we believe that technology should support and enhance your organization's success, not constrain it. With our wide range of best-in-class services, we provide customized solutions that fit your unique IT needs. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Midwest IT Support Help Desk is always available, providing your organization with professional remote help desk support services you need Midwest IT Support Help Desk will solve your technology issues day or night. Our IT staff ensures that your networking computers are up to date and ready for operation on a daily basis. Don't wait until problems occur. Let our organization solve them with our monitoring software, giving you the peace of mind you need. Let us do the worrying for you. Enabling your workforce with top-notch technologies isn't just important, but imperative for business success. This customizable solution allows your team to work seamlessly and collaboratively in a protected space. No matter what IT services you need, Midwest IT Support Help Desk will be there to support you every step of the way. Midwest IT Support Help Desk. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Please visit www.midwestitsupport.com for more information. Or shoot us an email at helpdesk at midwestitsupport.com. Give us a call, 765-239-9668. This your boy Big T with the string source. It's your boy Big T King C's Mars Vet L C It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. What's going on, everybody? And my one of my special guests is here already, Mr. Brian. What's going on, Mr. Brian? Uh, like you like you said, bro, it's a mar- it's a it's it's a marvelous yeah. day, man. Hey, see, it's a great it's a great day. I got my head held high. Uh, Go test out everybody, you know. Redskins one, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I got some uh, sure my, my next door neighbor. Uh, he uh, he's out here on uh, grill, grilling the hog, and uh, he, he got yeah, he got about 20, <laughs> he got about twenty people over there. That, uh, that's all Redskins fans. So uh, that's right. I just want to uh, I just want to put that out there for you, and uh, that that was one hell of a game, man. I'm telling you. That's right. It was a great game. Uh, we should have won more than we did. We missed the touchdown wide open. Uh, I think they were, you know, but, hey, we got the win. I'm satisfied with the win. Hey, I'm hey, satisfied. A, a win is a win. No matter a win is a win. It. I'm satisfied as a win. Hey, uh, King C's, I have a heard for you, bro. Come out, come out. You know, I'll, I'll make sure you're okay, King C's. I have a heard from him for Sister Lost. So, you know, I don't. He's on the milk cart right now. I got him it's on the been, milk cart. <laughs> it's been pretty quiet around, around here, boy. It, yeah, it's been very, very quiet. I got one boy King C's on the milk cart and the LC ain't hardly saying nothing. Uh, <laughs> boy, from all the, you know, um, my, that's my boys, my dudes. You know, come out, join the show. What's going on? <laughs> but hey. <laughs> it was a great day. Uh the Wolf Hats will come on very soon. So hey, I hey hey, Mr. Ryan, I'm gonna wait for them. So we're gonna right, talk right, about time, a, we're, gonna ta- we're gonna talk about the Cleveland Browns and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh All overtime right. game. Scared y'all a little bit. Um Oh yeah, it did. Uh, Baker Mason Baker is showing that hey he, they get together, you know, and they 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 got a decent team. Um, I still say they can get six wins this year. They still got time. Every game they they've been in four. It's their fourth overtime game this year. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. And it's been yeah, all four of them. They played pretty well. They yeah, play, they played really well. 
They come back. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jamie was. Go ahead. Uh, I, yeah, I was about to say. Um, it, it's been it's been a couple of times that we almost gave that we almost gave that game up. Yes, yeah, you did. Um, and then so, I like uh, I looked at the last drive that they had a couple of mental mistakes um, before they went to overtime. Like I said, um, uh, James Wilson was thirty-two for fifty-two, three hundred sixty-five yards, two interceptions. Nick Chubbs ran for fourteen carries, uh, eighty yards for Cleveland. So Mike Evans still doing his thing, uh, one hundred seven yards. And I think he, Mike Evans, don't get a lot of credit that he should get. He's one of the greatest receivers out there, and young. He got good hands. That, uh, yeah, he got great hands that uh, don't really get talked about like he should. So. And uh, looking at some more of the stats, um, Baker Mayfield with 215 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Uh, like I said, uh, James Woodson was your leading wrestler for y'all with 55 yards. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what do you think about the game? Um, oh, I mean, over, overall, um, uh, we still got a lot. We still got a lot to improve and everything. And um, the defense, uh, my defense played um, uh, played pretty uh, pretty uh, solid in the first half. We played well in the first half, mm-hmm. and then um, it's in my opinion, it, it seemed like we uh, took our foot off took our foot off the pedal uh, a, a little bit, a, a lot more um, in the second half because if if, if you're gonna make a team, you're gonna make a team beat you. If you're gonna make a team beat you, you made them beat you underneath. I mean, like mm-hmm. the Kings did, they, they made Dallas uh, try to beat them underneath, and then that's when it came down to to the field goal, to the Dallas field goal. Mm-hmm. Which it sounded like a shotgun, but um, but going back to us, um, we had, I mean, we had we had some uh, we had we had a few missed opportunities that we should have capitalized on and stuff, and uh, we just gotta. Try to clean it up the best way we can in practice um, this week, and you know, we got yeah. Cincinnati coming up, and Cincinnati is not a bad team at all, and they got a, a good defense, mm-hmm. so we got to really like pay attention on on that. So that's why I'm watching the game now against Kansas City right now, and see what they yeah, see what they got, see what they're working with and stuff. But overall, James Winston, um, he's um he's he's playing he's playing he's playing a um, little bit more calm and. Uh, I mean, even though he still forced the issue just a little bit, but not as much as he were from last year. Um, yeah. He's showing his um, maturity a little bit and stuff, and um, he's making he's making plays. He's making I, plays. I really don't think he, I really don't think he has a choice uh, right now because he got a choice this time because uh, yeah. this is like his third strike, so he messed up one, yeah. uh, one more time. Um, he's he, he's he's gone, so he really got yeah. to play at his best right now. Between now and thrown out, so yeah. But, yeah. Oh. So, um, also, uh, like I said, I, I think he don't have a choice. He has uh, no uh, room for anything to go wrong he, he, for him. I think they'll try to get him out of the league really yeah. this time. So he got to be yeah, because, time that, that, uh, that he belongs there because. He he, he he has potential. He has, I mean, he has great potential, yeah. but he just got to use his he got to use his brain a lot more. He got to use his yeah. brain a lot more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to this. The African American quarterbacks are very. Uh, and you can say this: you can't really make a mistake in the in. And I, 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 hope, I hope that people can agree with what I'm saying. That you look at the African American quarterbacks. You look at Vince Young. Vince Young was a great quarterback at Tennessee. Uh, he sure. made soon. He made oh, one mistake. He got bitched. Oh, oh, yeah, I wonder yeah. when he went to Tennessee Titans. Oh, he was yeah, he yeah, was pretty yeah. good to me. He was yeah, pretty sure good to me. Was. He made uh, when he got you know him and uh, um, uh, um, Der- uh, Fisher uh, couldn't get along. So no. when he got bitched, he never could be. He never was the same again. Um, Cam got the opportunity to be great. Um, he got to work on his um, so, he got work on his um maturity um level as well. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, we have a uh one of the hosts of this show has entered the building. Uh, what's up, Chelsea? What's up, Tim? How you doing, sir? What's 
good, man. What's going on? Hey, I still got your post on my wall, man, when you play for Detroit. <laughs> yes, my man knows and everything, man. Um, I still got to put my, I still, I still got to put, I still got to bat down to you, man, because you, you, you were that guy. <laughs> you were that guy. Yeah. Now, Chauncey, uh, I didn't want to have to go out and, you know, I'm, you're a true Cowboy fan. You know, <laughs> God felt like I would have to go out for the missing person and follow the report. Because we still ain't heard from King Never of that. Never that. You strong. You here? I'm still in good spirit. <laughs> you still in good spirit. Still in good spirit. So you saw what, so what you see today, Chomps? So tell me what's on your mind. Uh, let me see. What did I see today? I saw how New England, New Orleans beat Baltimore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a pretty good one. Uh, if, I saw yeah, how, it hurt the field goal kicker. It hurt him. I saw how um, Chicago quarterback sucks today. He could have he could have beat the Patriots, but he just couldn't find it. Couldn't find the range. Yeah. That's about, really, that's about all I really saw today, man. You ain't seen nothing else. Ain't nothing else, huh? Nah, I ain't. I ain't. I, will I throw this to something else? <laughs> Don't don't worry, yeah. We're gonna really refresh your memory in a little while. We don't want to get no. we, we don't we don't we don't want you go ahead and get it out of your we system. We want you to concentrate. Go I can't ahead and get it out of your system. Chauncey, go ahead. I'm waiting for, go waiting for our special guest to come. I'm waiting for our special guest to come. Y'all finally uh, got us. Good. <laughs> <Congrats>. <laughs> Y'all got it. Y'all got it. It was coming out sooner or later. Y'all got it. I, I can't wait. What do you want me to say? Y'all, y'all beat us. Y'all beat us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. What? I just, I, I just need, I need. I'm, I'm just waiting. I, I'm, I'm be facing all oh, what I got to say for a little later. Not much later, but a little no, later. No, I'm, I'm, I'm we. I, I need. I look. I got wait for my special guest to come. When my special he guest get here, either, so <laughs> <laughs> when my special guest get here, let's get it over. Let's get it over. I can't, you know. When you get here, here later. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear. It. You ain't going to hear it now. <laughs> That's true. I don't. But since I'm up here, let's go ahead on and get it over with. Well, uh, okay. I, I say, look, I say, I say a little bit of you know we beat you. Yeah, it was a great defensive game. Um, I, you know, you know, you hold Zeke Elliott to thirty four yards. Um, it's just and he just had thirty four yards. Uh, like I said, you know, y'all don't have nothing this year. Who's in first place right now? The Washington Redskins, ACTR, all day, every yeah. day. Huh? And all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, is about time. That's that's, uh, that's, it. that's all Lord. I'm gonna say. About time. That's all I hear. That's all I hear every night is about time. About time, y'all do this. About time, this. About time, that. Get the guy some credit. Get the guy some credit. It's been. Forever since y'all had a, a running season, so hey, congrats to y'all boys. Y'all beat us. I can't, I can't uh, say that. We, we we didn't play a good game. Dak had fumbles and hey, but y'all won though. Y'all were the better team than that. Y'all won. Okay. But but you do know we can play again, right? Days of giving day. And y'all come oh, with dollars, right? Thanksgiving Day, I give thanks for this win you know it's that we got to get again, that we got to receive again. Uh, it's gonna be the same ball game y'all because y'all, Zach, look, 
Look, Zach, Zach, the only one that held y'all together to stay in the game. And he's the only one. And then fourth down and um, 14 that Beasley made, it could have been worse. It would have been 20, 20 to 10. That lucky catch he made, it would have been worse. Then you feel goal okay. kick can't kick on the first so, one. Um, so, so at the end of the game, when we got the ball back, you won't skate. Scared of what? Because you felt you felt like we were going we were going to go down the court, go down the field, and and, and get a touchdown. See, you see. Felt that, <laughs> you felt that in your heart. That's I why worry about Facebook. That. I will. That's why Facebook was so quiet. Redskins fans <laughs> weren't saying a word because they knew they felt it in their heart. Oh, shoot, we don't gave them a minute or something. He gonna that oh, okay. Chris Scott gonna go down the court and he's gonna score. But it didn't happen. Oh look. Y'all won. Congrats. First of all, he ain't going down the court. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> First of all, he ain't going down the court. And like I said, Congrats. we just made him we made him feel good. Congrats. Because he thought he was doing something. And look, like Congrats. I said, Look, look, you still go kick a can kick. Congrats. So, I'm the first. So, hey, but hey, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to end it right there. I'm going to end it right there. And we're going to talk about a little later. We, we, got, we got some guests coming. We, we ain't got just one. We got some guests that should so be coming. So, hey, we're going to talk about this. And we got one guest right now that's coming. How you doing, Mr. Davis? What's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? Doing all right. How y'all doing? All right. We got all right. Mr. Davis in the house. Uh, this, we got LC. We got Mr. Brian. What's up with you, Mr. Davis? Man, it's, it's, it's a good day. It's good for basketball. My boy only got two games. Rondo only got three games. But, I mean, yeah, Rondo got two games and Ingram only got three games. So, yeah, yeah. pretty good. So, what, what, all right, what did you think about last night about that fight? Because at first I was like, okay, why Brandon going, you know, get, getting ill about the whole situation? But, you know, during the replays today, I saw he uh, he got hard and pushed off on him. So I said, okay, that's why he got mad. But I still think he overreacted some. Uh, and then the Chris Paul and Rondo thing was – I didn't know how deep it is. Yeah, I didn't know how deep it is. And, you know, they really despise each other. Rondo really can't get along with a lot of people. What you think about that last night? So, um, as far as what Harden, the Harden push-off, that's a basketball play. Whether it's a push or not, that's still in the, the play of basketball. So, when Ingram pushed Harden, that was when Harden back was turned. And then he got in the face of the referee. He should have been ejected right away. The referees did not do their job last night on how they're supposed to handle situations before Yeah, because they could have handled it differently. Right, until it, until, uh, it got to. As far as Chris Paul and Rondo, what I don't like to see is when two people get into a fight, you cannot be holding one person back while the other person is getting the advantage of them. And I, yeah, I saw yeah. that happen with I saw both that Chris Paul and Rondo both being held, you know, when either was getting the advantage of the other. So it was never a clear fight. As far as Ingram is concerned, I understand sticking up for your teammates in a brawl and stuff like that, but it wasn't a brawl. So for him to run up and punch CP3 in the face, that that deserved way more. Than, I'm disappointed in that three games that he got. He yeah, should have been a... made an example out of for the way because he made it a lot worse than it than it had to be. Yeah, Carmelo. Yeah, yeah Carmelo yeah. was saying um, I, it was unacceptable last night, and it was also unacceptable on Melo part that he didn't interfere. Like Melo, you ain't been playing yeah. great basketball. Earn your money. Do something. That's right. At least, at least if you ain't gonna play great on the court, play great in the fight. Don't sit there exactly. and watch your man get hit. Your best, I mean, what? Friend, uh, one of your best friends, one of the banana boat crew members, get hit in front of you, and you don't do nothing all because twelve years ago 
you got suspended 15 games. Come on, Melo. You done made $300 million since then. Earn your money, dude. Exactly. Mayweather was watching it right there. He had court side, court seat. So he watched it right, right in front of it. So I'm like, what in the world? Well, um, and – now, uh, you see Melo and Brandon uh, chocolate the bit to each other. Um, like I said, I think Brandon did overreact a little bit. He, he did. He's right here. For, yeah, he's, 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 he's 20 minutes from here. And I saw a whole lot of people say, well, he's from the K. And that don't mean nothing. You use a superstar in the NBA now. So, you got you to you know, like, play like a superstar. Yeah, you got you no, he ain't no superstar. He ain't even no star yet. He just he's an up and coming. I mean, he's just getting his feet wet. That has pretty much. that everybody want to see turn out to a star, but Brandon Ingram has not shown that yet. And for him to punch a player of Chris Paul's statue, you know, like this this player been well respected in the league for over a decade. It's one of the top players in the league, and you know, you have to have a a presence of mind and a sense of awareness who you're on the court with and what's being conducted and for him to mm-hmm. carry out that way that that was that was uh that showed his immaturity that that shows a lot of things like like they're gonna have to have a player's meeting or something uh in that Lakers locker room for for how to react and how to uh conduct conduct them yeah yeah, cause LeBron James, um, he, uh, he had to pull uh, Chris, um, pull Chris Paul back and uh, and walk with him, um, uh, uh, talk to him for a little bit and stuff. Cause they, you know, they, um, they, um, good friends, they best friends. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. And he was checking, I mean, nothing. he was checking on him at the same time when all that was, I mean, same time when that was going on. But I mean, really, I mean, you want my honest opinion? Um, it should never went that far. Really, it should never right, went yeah. that far. And I think it could have been it could have been handled, and, to me, it could have been handled differently. Yeah. And I saw something, something said about that, why why did he pull Chris Paul back? It wasn't no big deal. Everybody was holding everybody. So I don't feel yeah. like that really was no big deal for him to hold, be holding Chris Paul and not protect yeah, his like uh, not protect his own. Yeah. Paul out of the line of fire as he yeah. was getting attacked, you know, because it, Chris Paul could have got, he basically could have got jumped because Rondo had, you know, Eagles trying to get him. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. yeah, that long breath <laughs> and, and how tall is Chris Paul on six foot? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you were about that. I mean, you're right. talking about five on one. About right. four on one, really. Exactly, yeah. because Eric Gordon wasn't doing that. Bella wasn't doing that. No, it. everybody James moved, Harden, they moved the back. Yeah, James Harden 20 feet away. Like, I kind of calmed down that. I'm glad that CP only got two games. But if I'm Chris Paul, I'm really, like, questioning whether I could go to war with these guys if I don't know that y'all got my back in certain situations because, you okay. know, it, it, it goes yeah. down in the play. Because something like that, I mean, I mean, I mean, that plays in the mindset right there. For real. Yeah. Well, so, so uh, if you have to look at it, though, man, um, with the Chris Paul incident, man, um, and Rondo, Nobody really knew what was going on. It, it happened so fast. Won't nobody really over there but Bron and, and Melo. Yeah, yeah. And I guess, Mello was right. There. I guess Mello was I guess right those there. two felt like it was just going to be uh, junk talker. I didn't think. You know, I, I didn't. I don't think when guys actually thought it was going to be some hands thrown. But I, right, I, the I didn't see that Ingram, with the Brandon Ingram, he actually got four games suspension, and um. He deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah, but right. you don't push, I mean, push no player behind no back. I, I think Silver should have got more than what he got. Say again. I mean, yeah, coach. Yeah, number one, you don't put you don't you don't show a player in the back. I mean, especially I mean, especially they're going to the basket. I mean, they, somebody could have got hurt. And that was just so, we haven't even uh, I mean, talked about the the spit that everybody was looking for, and they finally got the, the close up on the video footage where you see the saliva clearly coming out of Rondo's mouth and Chris Paul wiping his face after that. Because everybody but it, was saying, like, Chris Paul lying or, you know, he's making up stuff, saying, but clearly Rondo did spit on I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it came out his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Now, I didn't see that video, so was it in the fact that 
Rondo was just talking and shit just came that, out. That's, that, and that's how I, mean, I was. Yeah. That's how I think it was. That's how yeah, I, I saw so it. Too. I think nah, he was just talking and hitting the trees. I saw the video, so I, the way it, so it was a heated it moment. So I mean, it wasn't a talk spit with him in conversation. You know, like spit come out of your mouth when you talking loud and yelling and stuff. It wasn't yeah. like that. It was like he, he, you know, how you gouge up spit, not like a big glide, but like, like Rondo knew what he was doing. Fit, it wasn't a lot for it to be noticeable as it was, but when a person's in front of your face, you know they felt that. So Rondo is a smart player. He knows how to get in people's heads. So I'm yeah, he's been doing that for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Like he's antagonized. He goes into opposing team huddles. You know, he does a lot of stuff that that irritates a lot of people. You know, so I don't want to give him the benefit of doubt to say that. Oh, Rondo, you ain't know you spit up. You know what's something coming out of your mouth or not? So for that fact alone, you know, I think Chris Paul made a mistake by shoving him and then putting his finger in his eye because. If you fit on me, then it really ain't nothing to talk about. We need to be fighting. Either I need yeah. to punch you and get it over with, or we need to just address it with the referees. Chris Paul made the mistake of mushing him, allowing Rondo to retaliate with, with punches. I think. Oh, wow. So, uh, now, the, 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 how can I say it? Now they saying that now it's like Rondo girlfriend and Chris Paul wife had beef something like that. I saw that yeah. the day too. I was like, right. you know, how far is this going? You know, y'all getting in deep, deep details. You know, this is going on. So, and you know, what? You, so let's get off that. What do you think about the Lakers so far as a team? Yeah, what are they doing so far? Um, I mean, we really haven't had a lot to work on because they only had – we only got two games of, you know, evidence like that. But I've seen – I already knew the Lakers was going to be kind of a problem because of the Rondo and Lonzo Ball situation. They don't know who they want their starting point guard to be, you know, and that's going to create problems as the season go along because – Lonzo is in the state where he's tr- he's up and coming. He's trying to, you know, show that he's a star. And then, you know, you got his dad and you got the Lakers drafting him number two. But then you got Lonzo, I mean, Rondo, you know, a championship point guard, a, a seasoned veteran. So I didn't, I didn't really um, see that playing out as well as people seeing this going to play out. Like, I, I think that's going to create problems further down, but that's – that's just my opinion. That's how I look at it. Okay. Well, so unless, point. Un- unless um, Alonzo Ball can can play some bad basketball in the next three games that Rondo is out, he's not going to be starting. <laughs> no. He's not going to be starting. That's point blank. He's he going to have to. He's really going to have to play some balls the next three games for for them to consider him to be a starter. Right now, I don't really think he's even a talk anymore about him being a starter because he, he's no. not the type of – he's not a Rondo-type player. He's he's not ball smart like Rondo. Uh, he's not going to come in the game and possibly get you a triple, triple double almost every game. He, he's not that type of player. And he may be a better shooter than Rondo, but and that's, that's and, really and about that's, it. That's, that's a stretch right there because both of them bad shooters. No. That's true. That's true. But he's really going so, to have uh, to go the next three games in order for them to say, okay, maybe we can start Lonzo Ball. Uh, he, 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 looked, he looked decent last night. He won't no he won't no spectacular game from him, but he, he looked decent. Who are you talking about Lonzo? Yeah. Yeah, Man, yeah I he, he, he won't he want nothing for a tackle. Yeah. Rondo, Rondo and CP3 was balling last night. That was that was yes, a sir. good game last night before yes, you know. before the incident took place. Right. Yeah. 
So no, that's the wouldn't. crazy thing right there is they got three more games this season. You know, they got to play four times <laughs> a year. So yeah. everybody going to be circling those dates right there. Oh, you best believe yeah. that. <laughs> I, mean, I, think the Lakers, Lakers. I think the Lakers need to do something with Pope, Caldwell Pope. He has not yeah. done nothing in the last two games. No. And I, I, they need to put him back on the bench and put Kuzma starting. Kuzma playing better than he is. Different. And yeah, yeah. Kuzma is balling. He's balling. Josh Hart is playing better than Caldwell Pope. And McGee yeah, is doing it. In the first two games of the season, we, you know, like we haven't really had a lot to go off of. So we like everybody well, about to make it. Adjustments, you know, we've seen what Caldwell Pope can do. He's just been yeah. inconsistent, but but he's a viable, you know, shooting guard. Even though he was going from jail, going to the games, going to the James Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny to me. <laughs> I never seen that. That you go, you you know, you got certain time. You can go certain time and go play. I have seen it. <laughs> so real interesting. But on my team, I still think they need to make a move for a shooter. Another good shooter with them, one you know, one person that yeah. you know you're a consistent shooter with with LeBron. Right. I think have, looking at them in the preseason, their defense need to get better. I know, I know the chemistry got to come together, and I understand that. But you you right. you got to come. We need another shooter that can be a consistent shooter. He can get 17, 20 points a game, long he's consistent in what he's doing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Lamar Jackson said the same yeah. thing uh, uh, the other night and stuff when they played him when they played at Portland. So he said the same they, thing. So they definitely need a shooter. So I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 and I trust. Go ahead. But see, man, that's where Brandon come in. That's where Josh Hart, Kuzma. That's where them boys come in at, man. They can get the shot going because the shot is yeah. going to be there. LeBron and Rondo are gonna make sure it's there, but they got to be able to hit them shots, man. That's that's where that's where Ball can step in and get his playing time up if he can come in and hit shots. Mm-hmm. But right now, ain't nobody hitting that, man. Yeah, and, well, I, and I, it's all about building confidence as well. Le, LeBron has been in the league long enough to know he's been through these stretches of bad teams, good teams. So he know how stuff works. He has the patience, you know, to deal with these young dudes because they ain't got no playoff experience. They don't got, you know, you seen you seen yesterday that they don't know how to really handle themselves on the basketball court as far as playing winning basketball. Because even no. after that four mm-hmm. minutes, it's like they didn't even try to win that game last night. Like Harden just went off. Like now they down zero and two. They got the Spurs next game. So. They're going to have to go through a stretch of losing to learn how to win and learn how to put together a string of games, just like, you know, kind of like the Cavs last year when they made those trades and uh, brought brought those players over there. The yeah. Especially with two starters out. Right. Yeah. So. All right, we got King C just come in. What up, C? What up, C? What's going on? Okay, go. So, all right, please. Did you fly? And the need to get called. Y'all acting on tone. Yeah, I heard people were looking for. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. (laughs) We got such a guest set now, and we're going to get to that in a few minutes. So, uh, you know, and yes. We had we were gonna put you on the milk party. What you here? You showed up. So, but hey, we'll get to that in a few minutes. But we're talking. We got Mister Daniels here, Steve, <laughs> and we'll talk about the uh, the uh, game last night with LA and Houston. Did you uh, did you fly out to LA today and get that report? Man, the crazy thing about it is. I had just walked out of L.A., you know what I'm saying, just walked out of the forum where when stuff took place. They ain't at the forum no more. So, so, so uh, I did see you on TV last night then. 
Yeah, Toronto 2-0. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Toronto 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. Toronto 3-0. Toronto 3-0. Okay. Yeah, right. So Even without Kawhi Leonard, that third game. Hey, I'm looking. Oh, uh, okay. I'm looking oh, oh yeah, got to rest. Yeah, got to rest him. Rondo uh, actually man. did sit on it. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rondo, Rondo. What about the Warriors? But but the league league in a good state. I know come All Star time, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of sad faces on well deserving players that ain't gonna make that All Star team. You got that right, special. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how they gonna do it. I don't know how they gonna do figure that out. Yeah. Oh, you know, I heard C say what about the Warriors? They two and no. So uh, you talk you talk gave them a game the other night though. Yeah, they gave them a game. Yeah, we Even Trey Young, his second game of the season, he got 35 points tonight. And they ain't yes, set it the fourth quarter. 35 points, nine assists. Like, these players ain't play. I don't know if the, the NBA didn't like the NFL where they want all this offense and they they not allowing players to play defense because ain't nobody really been playing no defense. And you can't touch the yeah. quarterback no more. You get a flag just for, for sneezing on the quarterback now. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, all right. Um, let's see. Now, are we, Mr. Dance, we'll, we'll go, you know, go put it out there. What, what's what in, in F, F, NFL team you like? Uh, I'm a Lions fan. I'm from Detroit, so I, I go for my Lions, you know. Okay, y'all, y'all got to win today. But uh, I got, I, you know, I'll go ahead and we I'm gonna get to you in a minute too. But All right. we got we got two cowboy fans right here. That uh, <laughs> I'm trying to wait for my boy to come on. Hold on, I'm gonna send him a message. I ain't gonna, hold on, I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna send him a message and see he's ready. I want him to come up because he had a bet that he made with one of our one of our co hosts. I don't see you know. Okay, that's what's up. It got Cecilia in. So, but the Lions did win today. Um, what do you think about uh, Patricia so far? What, hey, hey, Matt Patricia, right, y'all coach? Uh, I don't know. Everybody was kind of down on him on, on the first couple games, but they thought they were thinking that because he's a product of Bill Belichick, that he automatically supposed to win. Like, oh, you, you know. But the problem with the Lions this season is that we can beat the great teams. We didn't beat Green Bay. We didn't beat the Patriots, but we lose to teams like the Jets. We lose to teams mm-hmm. like the Cowboys, no offense. <laughs> so, so it's kind of up in the air. Like, I, where we at? I'm trying to see where we at right now. But today, you know, this I, I like the balance of offense. You had Matt Stafford, two hundred seventeen yards, two touchdowns. Q R Q Ron Johnson, nineteen carries for one hundred fifty eight yards, and yep. I'm loving it. So, but you know, the, y'all have y'all got a receiver of um, and it's Marvin Jones, number eleven, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And now they they kid gonna be special. I like what I seen out of him. Yeah, I, I like what the Lions doing. They showing some uh, resiliency, you know. Uh, Stafford always been clutch, in my opinion. He always been a comeback kid. But um, it's just when it, my problem with the Lions is whenever it's a fifty-fifty call, it automatically goes against them. Like, like <laughs> that's been done. We got so many rules in the NFL. The Calvin Johnson rule. Like, how Calvin Johnson got a rule? Like, come on. Man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, the the Cowboys in the playoffs with Dez Bryant on the football field. They ain't calling penalties. It's, man, there's it's so much oh. history. I ain't gonna tell y'all how I feel about the Cowboys. Oh. I'm gonna keep that to myself. Oh, no, 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 no. You are our guest. You are a guest on this show. If you feel some type of way about the Cowboys, you let that out. You don't hold that in. <laughs> you you let it out, you know. I I you know. Go ahead and see what you got to say. 
No, nah, we gonna we gonna keep it civil. That's that's a conversation for another day. I ain't, I ain't gonna okay. I ain't gonna go all this, this into it. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it one hundred. <laughs> okay, like I say, if you like I say, anytime you feel some type of way about the Cowboys, you bet it off your chest. And then right, toss and seize. I'm going to throw this out there. Y'all going to know exactly what I mean. My issues with the Cowboys is not about what's on the football field. Okay. I see you already. <laughs> and I respect that. I respect that. And being that's an that's man. Right. Yeah, being an African-American man, man, I respect that. Exactly. Wait, wait a minute. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I ain't no African-American. <laughs> I ain't no African American. I don't know what the hell I was thinking about. Oh, as, an, as an original, as an original man, I, I, I respect it. <laughs> uh, so, but I say, all right, I, I, I can't let it hold. I can't hold no more. I can't hold it no more. I got, I got to let it go. Now. See, go ahead and say, uh, let, let, let's let you go ahead and talk about the days about the Cowboys and Redskins real quick. Let you get it off your chest. Oh, let's see. Well, first huh? of all, I, I would like to say to Patrick Best, man, if you listen, man, the Redskins are the best team in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hold on. We didn't, we didn't hear that. You think we didn't hear that? Can you say that louder? Give me a second. I'm over the stairs stand right now. What's going on, bro? Give me a second. Let me wipe my mouth. I said the Redskins are the best team in the NFL. I don't know what it's saying. I love you, man. I love it. I love it. Oh, that was great to me. Oh. And this is going to be played all every day. If you don't know, we on Spotify, Our Heart Radio, YouTube, iTunes. This is getting played everywhere. Appreciate that, C's. I hope this show. I hope this show don't air. I hope we get some tips for this show. This this show would definitely air. <laughs> <laughs> the lights go out or something. <laughs> this this show will definitely air. I definitely won't so. share it on my page. That's not going to happen this time, Tim. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm not sharing it on my page. Are, are you saying mad <laughs> or not? <laughs> yeah. I had to make a, I made a bet, man. I'm mad at my words. I understand my words. Oh, oh, I got, I got some more people to see tomorrow. Some, some people be wearing some red skin hats tomorrow. So, hey, I got like three people to see. It ain't gonna be pretty at all. Ain't gonna be pretty at work for me. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be. They made, they made some another note. Yeah. You had another note. No. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cause I I just got I just got a uh, I got an email I got a text. So we'll hold on. I didn't say it. I didn't say it one time. I didn't say it. I'm on you. He didn't hear. Well, see, he better listen to the radio station, man. <laughs> <laughs> He did it here. So, what, what, what was that, Johnson? I said, you happy now. Am I happy? You ain't been happy, you ain't been happy in years. You happy now. <laughs> I, am I happy? I'm always I'm happy. happy but I, I'm happy for you. I got a big smile on my face right now. I'm going to send that to your white boy. Again, now you white. I got the money. I'm going to send <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mm. All right, hold, hold on. My grand entrance, uh, Mr. Davis, can you please stay on with us too? Because this is gonna be entertaining. Uh, oh, if you ain't got nothing, to do. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my boy, my brother, 
Ooh. Another HCTR Ooh. fan is here, Mr. Patrick Vest. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, baby? What's up? I'm just going to sit I'm just gonna sit back and chill. My legs crossed. I'll let you have the floor, sir. Uh, LaChauncey Wesley and uh, Reggie Harris is here. Oh, you know, no, I'm not going to be Teddy Pack tonight. I got him a big boy bridge tonight. So I'm going to sit back and let them explain themselves why they took an L. So we don't have to explain nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? We won. Okay. They have to explain to us why they took the L. That's all I want to know. And Reggie, do you get my speech ready? Because I'm ready here. I'm ready for my speech. Man, I done gave it up, man. They I know. I want to Okay. <laughs> All right. No? They said you were coming on, man. So I went on and gave the speech. I left you, I left you a nice post. Hey, I stood up to my end of the deal, man. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Good game, man. It's a good game. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? That was a close game. I was talking to about a blowout. But you know what I'm saying? I knew I knew every time we play, it, it it either ends in a field goal or a touchdown. So, you know, good game, man. Yeah, good game. Yeah, you know? <laughs> well, I've been oh, oh, so I, I can't I be paid anymore. I still ain't even going with that. I ain't going to do it. I'm going to go. Well, we them boys. Yeah. With them boys. Y'all got to earn yeah, that. Yeah. Right now, yeah, you know what I'm saying? y'all not looking too good. Y'all not looking too good right now to earn that. You know what I'm saying? We them boys. So, hey, quiet. You can't talk. Y'all y'all lost. You got to explain it. The only time you can talk is when you explain it. I got the floor. So, we them boys right there. So, you guys have to earn that back. You feel me? That damn talk. Y'all need to earn that. Y'all need to earn that red skin logo. Don't tell me that. Oh, that damn that damn You know, how hey, do y'all want to have Jason Garrett as y'all head coach? I just don't. I just want to know a time yeah. frame on the like he he hasn't done it. It's, t- it's time to say goodbye to that motherfucker, man. He's trying to think about it, man. Yeah. Yeah. What y'all don't like about Jason Garrett? What y'all don't like about Jason Garrett? Huh? I love the guy. I know you do. What, what y'all don't like about Jason Garrett is he's um he's always sitting on Jerry Jones' lap. It's like he can do no wrong. Like, like hey. he has no flaws, even though when they don't be winning. All those eight and eight seasons of not making a playoff, like, come on, you getting too many passes. If he played for any other team in the NFL, he doesn't have a job right now. That's yeah, what I'm saying, right. yo, dude. Yo, whoever's talking is exactly right. Yo, the Cowboys have a high caliber of players but cannot freaking do nothing with them, yo. Listen. They can't. They can't. They have the no. best offense, best defense, but can't do anything with it, yo. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't say, you, you know what I'm saying? You take a team like the Patriots. The Patriots is not a Pro Bowl team or nothing like that. They just work together. They're just a bunch of good players that work together. Yeah. You know? So that's what, that's that was serious talk. That's what the Cowboys' problem is. They were there for the buddy. Yeah, they're more of the buddy, but they're just happy to be friends. And they don't give a damn about winning those championships. If you win the championship, it's cool, but they're more happy with being family oriented and all that extra dumb shit, that shit don't matter. Exactly. I don't know, man. But guess what? <laughs> Me and Tim love it. We just love the confusion. We love it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep, 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 it, up. Good work. keep it up. We love it. Keep up the, I love Jason keep up the and Jerry Jones. Jones. Yeah. My, that's my buddy. You know, that's my buddy, Jason Gary and Jones and Jerry Jones. I like those guys. You know, you can't I know, talk about I know. Do not talk I about know. Jason Garrett or Jerry Jones Romney. I'm, I'm really but, getting upset but, right now. But. <laughs> you don't want, you don't and all that. You like you like and, just the way they are. Huh? Hold up. But against the Redskins, but, but against the Redskins, his record is damn near impeccable. He got, what, five, what, five losses, six, seven, five, four, four losses against them? Something like what? that. What? For what? Oh, we don't what hear happened? about that. What, what you talking about? Jason, what happened? Jason Garrett. 
Jason Garrett record against the Redskins. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes, um, you know what I'm saying his record against us, he got a pretty good record. And your point? So I'm just trying to figure out. I'm okay. Your point? And he said to all, he said to all the coaches, he uh, he keeps shitting on y'all, so y'all think it might not be worth it. But that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's neither that's neither here nor there right now. Oh my god! What did he win? I, what did he no. win today? You still in your feelings, nah, Ray? Ain't winning today. Still your feelings? Ain't winning. You need to take a drink. Ain't winning. Ain't winning today. I don't drink, bro. You need to oh, well, take a smoke, do something. Calm down, baby. Calm down, bro. You're my day one brother. Calm down. Get out your feelings. You know? Y'all play us man. again. Y'all play us again. I roll my own cigarettes. Oh, that's right. I forgot, <laughs> you said, I forgot you said you quit. You quit the Cowboys. Who's going to go with the Panthers next? Who? Oh. <laughs> No, a, a, for a, fan, a fan or two? Cam Newton Pitt need a fan or two? Today. What happened? Yeah, yeah. He, he was lucky. Cam, Cam came back oh, today. Oh. Well, I, we, needed, we needed him to win, though. I did need him. So, Cam? Yeah. Yeah, there go. That was nice, yo. I was happy about that. That was nice for me. Yeah, yeah they don't like game. to give Cam Newton his credit. They don't, they don't like... You know they they can't stand rushing quarterbacks. They don't like that. They don't like when quarterbacks well, rush. And Cam is the best. Well, I got a, I got a problem with I got a problem with Cam. I always said this. I said that and I, and I would say my problem with Cam is his leadership as a quarterback, as a black exactly. African American quarterback. I feel like he should be a better leader. I think yeah, uh, he knew. Yeah. yeah. He uh his he he. He know guys coming for him. When he get in the media, he talk, you know, he don't want to. He's like he irritated all the time and things like that. And some people be asking him simple questions. And then I know okay, that I sometimes they – I agree with you on that, but I'm going to let you go ahead. I'm going to let you finish with you guys. So. Okay. But, but at the same time, I think he can be – he can be one of the greatest uh, black African American quarterbacks of all time. I feel he can be, but I think his attitude needs to change as a leader to be there. To be there. Yeah, that's what I hate about Cam. Because one thing, Cam, your Cam is a great quarterback. His thing is he let people get in his head too much, and when he start losing, he can't focus. He, he, they go on the bench with a towel on his head, with attitude. But as long as he's winning, he's grinning all day. They win, but they start yeah. losing. Yeah. There he go. On the bench, you know what I'm saying? He wants, you know what I'm saying? On the bench, he wants to be left alone. You can't, you can't do that. You lose, no. you still have to talk to your team. Yeah. You know. Go ahead, Mister. Yeah. Okay. No, I, um, I think Cam is a great leader as a, um, not just as a black quarterback, but as, as a quarterback in general. But I think mm-hmm. in the media, I understand what you're saying, how you be sometimes, but. If you if you notice the media and how they address him in certain questions, it's like they know the players to try to get to. They don't do everybody like that. They don't they don't ask all them questions like that when Tom Brady loses. Aaron Rodgers don't get those questions. It's like they know how to target Cam to try to get a reaction out of him. Like like the media the media ain't no you know, they got some they got some devil ass them reporters out there that be on their bullshit, they be asking their bullshit. And that's why yeah. I understand yeah. Yeah. Richard Sherman the way he be. I understand how Marshawn Lynch was when he like, shit, I'm just here cause I, so I won't get fined. It's how he got to that <laughs> point because the media will take what you say. They will twist up your words. They will, they will um, take little clips of what you say and take it out of context. They do a lot of, a lot of fuck shit when it comes to the media and especially black black quarterbacks. The black quarterbacks got to deal with a whole different media level than just quarterbacks because it's like they got to earn their name just to be a quarterback before they can be a uh, just to be a black quarterback before they can be recognized as a quarterback in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can agree with it. Yeah, I can agree with it. Oh yeah. So, but I I still think he got a target on him. Uh, in the NFL, where uh, I think they rushing him too much, I think they need to calm down on that because you, you look at his hits when people hit him, they target his head and they're trying to knock him out. 
And they don't go for his body. They go for his head. Bigger than everybody else. Yeah. So I understand that as a defender because you like this big ass dude is a threat to run. He's a threat to run and he's a threat to run. So of course yeah. they're trying to hurt. They go yeah, they're trying to take him out. And I don't blame. Yeah. Him. Yeah, man, but you keep running him. I will I will calm down. I think you got a set runner in McCaffrey. Why won't you run him more than you run in Cam? But you know, see, some plays. The difference, though, when you compare yeah. uh, Aaron Rodgers to a Cam Newton, Cam Newton could get 100 freaking illegal hits to get him against him before the league says anything. You get two illegal hits against Aaron Rodgers, it's rule changes. Like, they're yeah. changing that. Like, we got to do something about it. It's been years where Cam has, like, dude, how you not throwing a flag on this play, but you give Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees those same same plays, and you got a whole different landscape. It's, it's rules change the next game. Yeah. So, do you think it's to more? Mike, to, be honest with you, to be honest with you, I hate to cut you off. We can go back to Michael Vick. When Michael Vick was in the league playing, they said any time a quarterback is a running quarterback, he's a threat. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Michael Vick took all the illegal hits. Nothing said. Yes, sir. Nothing said at all. Nothing. Uh, so, it's, you know. It was, it was almost like they like for dead, really. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Right, but that's what I'm saying. They ain't do nothing about it. They don't do nothing, nothing. about it until it's their golden boys they get hit. Then exactly. that's when they started. Okay. Do the do the knowledge to it. I mean, uh, who were the black? Uh, who were the uh, the running quarterbacks in the NFL at that time? Mostly black. Uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah, man, all of them were black guys. All of them, you're right. All of them. Yeah. So they probably came up with that rule. They started the you black guys. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
what's uh their coach last year. I can't. Well, I don't know. I can't think his name. I know his know his name. Jack, find him. Jack the Rio. Jack the Rio. You find yeah. him. They had, he had him in the playoffs. They didn't have a terrible season last year. They just you know couldn't come together in some aspects. Uh, what they had six wins last year. Six wins yeah. last year. They had you know playoff. With, you know keep that together and try to build on something. But I right, John Gruden comes in and he's available. You get her ten million dollars, and he hasn't shown nothing. He got fired for Tampa Bay for a reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and he's been gone for years. So why do you think to keep that chemistry together? I can I can't understand it. And it's all they always get to play, uh, blame the coaches like uh, who's blaming. You blame the Cowboys. You say you blame Jason Garrett. I see Jason Garrett. It ain't Jason Garrett' fault all the time. Sometimes he's not calling plays no more. So mm-hmm. who, who, who else you got to point the finger at? Um, I mean, what? I mean, I think the biggest black eye that's going to be on uh, on John Gruden is the fact that they didn't resign Khalil Mack and they didn't get him that money. Like that's going to be on his legacy until the Raiders have to win. Like, they have to win, and they clearly aren't doing that. And the Bears are having, like, their best season in a long time without them, yeah. them down. Yeah. So, so when you look at that, that, that huge mistake and not paying that man that money, that's an example of how much power that these players have now. Like Jimmy Butler in the NBA and – Kyrie Irving wanted to be traded and stuff. These these owners and these, these teams don't have the power no more. These, these players, they, this is one thing that LeBron has done. He has put the power back in the players' hands to take hold of your own career. You don't have to be um, guilt trip to to stay with your franchise. Now Kawhi Leonard, like I. A top-notch organization like the Spurs, Kawhi Leonard, like, fuck y'all. I, I ain't trying to be here. The players are <laughs> out and they, they, they execute. Pretty much right, yeah. Yeah, he's sure balling in Toronto right now. like Kawhi Leonard will leave an organization that's, that's tailor-made for him. And he like, I'll, no, uh-uh, y'all ain't about to have the credit for the rest of my career. I, I'll go to damn Canada and play. <laughs> He went to hell of a squad, yeah. too, though. Yeah. Say what, C? I said he, he went to hell of a squad. Yeah, he yeah. and Danny Green together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's see, let's see. Now, oh, we'll second, we'll talk, let's go back to the NBA real quick. Uh, mm-hmm. You see, uh, Westbrook made his debut today, 32 points, but lost to Sacramento. Um, do, you, do you think it's time to Westbrook leave uh, OKC? Nah, he ain't going to leave. Nah, nah, he ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. <laughs> it don't benefit him to leave. So, you, you know, you think they're going to get another superstar right there? Because, you know, Paul George is a superstar, but they can't. What do you think the problem down there? I think it's the coach, uh, but I'm just, that's my me, opinion. Me personally, I think Westbrook is an Allen Iverson type player where you can't really run an offense through them. Like, they are the offense. They don't run set plays for the team to be successful. They, their game is based on their individual play and athleticism. So, with Westbrook, you, he's in his 11th season, and we still looking for Westbrook to change. He's not going to change. This is what you see, what you get. You know, so yeah. I just think they are what they are, and in the era of super teams, that's just as, that's just who they're going to be. I don't I don't see him ever winning the championship. I just see him getting a whole bunch of stats, being great individually, but never translating to team success. 
So, but I say, um, say uh, Durant has stayed. You still want to see looking at the same one? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think when they had Durant and Harden, I think that they would have been a championship team eventually. I don't know if they would have won multiple championships, but I could I could see them winning one ring or two. But the problem with that hmm. is we would have never known Harden's potential. Like, the same questions that we have for Clay Thompson, can he do – can he run his own teams is the same way we still would have been looking at James Harden. So, with all yeah. three of them splitting up, we got three different MVPs. Harden is an MVP. Westbrook is an MVP. KD is an MVP. If KD would have stayed with the Thunder, we would have never saw the full potential of Russell Westbrook, and we would have never saw the full potential of James Harden because KD would have been getting the bulk of the credit being that he's the number one player on the team. You know what I'm saying? So I think yeah. it was, like, destined for them to to break that up because – just like it is with Boston with Terry Rozier and freaking you got Kyrie, now you got Jason Tatum trying to break out, you got Hayward still trying they gonna have to do something with all them players. They're not gonna be able to keep everybody, you know? Yeah. So you think so, uh, so you think Boston gonna uh, trade somebody in this year? They gonna have to. They gonna have to. They ain't got they got no other choice. Yeah, they ain't mm-hmm. got no choice. It depends on different we, championship. We've already yeah. seen their potential individually. So we already know what what Rozier is capable of. We already know, you know, we we've seen them get to the Eastern Conference back to back years, even with um, Isaiah Thomas. We've seen them boys balling. So they're gonna have to do something because those players know their value and they like, fuck that, I'm not about to be a bench player for the rest of my career. Uh, I want to do so. Yeah. Yeah. See, oh, see you say it depends. They win the championship. I see if they win the championship, then, you know, somebody might try to stay for, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of the team. You know, like Boston, not like Boston, but like Golden State did. <laughs> you know, people taking pay cuts. Because uh, some people don't want to step into the spot. Like, I don't think Clay Thompson really want to step into the spotlight and have his own team. I think he's satisfied being like uh, right. the backup. You know what I'm saying? The backup guy or the second threat that can go for – it can be a number one threat at any match. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think he want that person. Certain people don't like that type of person when they – you know what I'm saying? But they want to be – they'll be a great asset to the team, like uh, Robert Ory or something like that. You know what I'm saying? hmm Yeah, exactly. So, um – but they, they talk about um, where Clay gonna end up next year. You think he's leaving? I don't think he's leaving. I don't think he has a reason to leave other than money. And money, I mean, they already super rich. I don't think money is the um, the driving force behind Clay Thompson. Like you just said, um, Clay doesn't really want that pressure right now. I mean, he can't have that pressure, but. Um, he he likes winning championships and he likes the camaraderie around a group of players that he got. He done, he done been his whole career with Draymond and Steph. So I think he likes being in Golden State. Other than money, I don't really see a real reason for him to leave and Golden State still going to have to give him a lot of money. They can't give him no back. They can't give him what L.A. can give him. But I don't see him giving up those championships. Oh. Okay. So, I right, Anthony Davis, what you see him doing next year? Is he a free agent next year? I don't think he's Yeah, he's a free agent next year. Yeah, it's next year. I know they're saying with him, uh Clay and Kawhi. I was not now I wouldn't be surprised if um if he stay if he um decides to stay back in um New Orleans. Now I won't be surprised because what well, can you build around him? I would, you know, he's a great. As long as he stay healthy, he's one of the best players in the NBA. To me, I mean, especially after I mean, especially after what I see him do against the um against the Rockets, like the first game, uh, 
first game the um the other night. Yeah, so, he's been uh, doing I mean, that since last year. He's been he's been he's yeah. been, he been pretty healthy and he's been he's been balling like but that makes his trade value go go up even more. They they're saying in New Orleans that they're not gonna trade him by no means necessary. Yeah. So they're, they're gonna have to make a move just like when the Pelicans had what well, the Hornets had Chris Paul over there in New Orleans. They like He's great, but we know he's leaving. He's not resigning with us, so we have to get something back for him. They're going to have to make a decision. Are they willing to take that risk and let A.D. walk, or they can, uh, you know, get some of them up-and-coming pieces from Boston over there or or the Lakers or one of these other teams? Yeah. Uh, We'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I, I mean, to me, I, I felt that was a good move when they um, when they um, brought in um, Julius Randle because I mean, he he could definitely help out um, Anthony Davis as well with double doubles and stuff like that. And then he got Mirchis, um he could have a hot night. Uh, he could have a a good game. Oh yeah, um, Mirchis like, like, ball. Like, ball. Yes, sir. He, he showed me that. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Um right now they losing uh Golden State losing to Denver seventy three sixty five. Um you know, Curry and Durant still having great nights and everybody else chipping in. So um Denver, Denver, Denver's going, a, a Denver's a good team today. <laughs> I ain't yeah. gonna we'll count them out. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna slide I'm gonna slide back in football real quick. Um Got to talk about the ECU Pirates last night. Um, oh man! They uh, all oh, for my you know being there, my eyesight, what I seen. The score don't reflect how they play. Um, I feel like the Alton Halter, if I say his name right, Halter. I think the kid from from Conley has great potential. Uh, he's he was very mobile. He 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 was hype. His uh he he moved the ball. He just made mistakes. He made simple mistakes. You know he had a fumble on the three yard line. He had one interception. Uh, his him and Brown him and Brown connected. I think Brown had a hundred and like. Let's see, can I see it real quick? He had like a hundred and thirteen, fourteen yards. Something like that, um, but every, I think they got something in here. But like I said, like I said last week, my question is the fan base for the homecoming. Go. Yeah, it, it still was not packed. A whole lot of empty seats still was there uh, when they announced Coach Montgomery' name. You can hear booze. So yeah. My question is, <laughs> you know, is it almost over for him? I believe it. Is. Honestly, I believe it is. Yeah. Because looking at his resume right now, he's he's eight and twenty three, and that's not going to get it done. I mean, coaching wise, that's not going to get it done. Yeah. And and watching the game last night, um, like I mean, like you said, I mean, like in the first, like in the first quarter, they had like. Three opportunities to actually score against UCF last night, but mistakes came into play as well. Yeah. And the defense, they um, defense played, um, defense played, um, they played um, good, uh, well last night as well. Yeah, they played really, but, really well. But you just can't afford keeping the defense out there on the field longer than the offense. So, 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 so have to give. But, yeah. but, but the quarterback, he, 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 uh, he played well. I, mean, I think he threw like over what three hundred something yards. No, nah, he threw he threw for four hundred six yards. He threw for four hundred six yards. Uh, one touchdown, one interception. He was a leading rusher. Twenty seven carries, yeah. sixty nine yards. Um, Trevon Brown had ten receptions for one hundred forty five yards. Exactly. So, so, so something's got to give. I mean, coaching wise and stuff. Yeah. That's why I think it is. Is is it, it may be there, it might not be. So, um, and see, I mean, Char- like, go ahead. I, 
I mean, I, I mean, what I was about to say was, I mean, like I said, looking at his resume, eight and twenty-three with the Pirates, it's not, it's not gonna get it. It's not gonna cut it. They ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna get yeah. it done. Yeah, and that's your that's your money maker, and that's what brings you know, has brought brought this town what what they have now is ECU football. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another reason why. Yeah. I don't think we're getting uh the get uh getting the support that we uh that 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 we should get. Yeah. So uh Ted, you still there? Yeah, yeah I'm still here. I'm just you know with Montgomery man, they lost space to him last year. I'm hear y'all talking. Homecoming wasn't yeah. packed last year neither. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't wanna play the race card, but I think that it's brought him in for the not look too bad behind a white coach when they got rid of McNeil, you know what I'm saying? Um, to be honest, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I think they hired him, you know? But, you know, he's, you know, you got to perform. You got a job. I'm your boss. You're not performing. You're getting fired. Just like, you know what I'm saying, my boss. If I'm not performing, they're not going to keep paying me all this money just to do nothing. You feel me? Yeah. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what I said. He got an 8 and 23 record. Yo, he should have been got the boot. I don't care what color you are. You're not performing, man. You got to go. Exactly. And, you're making a lot of yeah. money. You're not making what, you know what I'm saying? You're not making what we're making. You're making 10 times, probably 20 times what we're making. You know? Mm-hmm. You're not performing. You got to go. And yeah, we got to fight for ours. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How long has he been with This is third season. Right here, third. McGovern. Yeah, yeah. This is third season. Yeah, yeah, third season. Yeah, I think it's the last one too. Yeah. To so hear you right. Like, yeah, to hear the crowd. You hear the crowd when his name was mentioned. You can hear a yeah. lot of boos. Yeah, you hear a I lot heard of boos. Last night. Yeah. You so to um, be honest with you, you're gonna fire McNeil, and he was. And then he was going to bowl games. This guy haven't been nowhere, and he's still there. No. Right, I, mean, I think when Neil last season he had five wins. Every other season he went to a uh, bowl game every year. Exactly. And uh, you bring because he had five wins, bringing in the first one quarterback as somebody you had developed. Exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. Um. So, um. Let's see. This is this is this is. We want to talk about college basketball real quick. Uh, Mr. Darius, since you were guest, who, who, who you, you Michigan State? Uh, I, I don't. I don't really follow college basketball or college football. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, this t- this Tar Heel country down here. <laughs> And that's what's up. I respect that. Yeah, this Tar Heel country down here. So, um, but. We are uh, in North Carolina? Yeah, we're in North Carolina. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I was I was there for a few years. Okay, what part? I was in Camp Lejeune because I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Yes, you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um,. I think, Mister, you in uh, you in North Carolina, you in the what? What part are you in, uh, Mister Byron? Do what? What part of North Carolina are you in? Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in Johnson County. I'm in Selma. Okay. Okay, I knew it was something like that. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, I'll talk about the North Carolina Tar Heels. Um. The scene so far, and then they do blue doubles, and this money that's getting thrown around that the kids getting out of. They said the kids from Duke, what's his name, Zion Williams. Yeah, Zion uh, was yeah, offered. Zion Williamson. Yeah, he was offered. Uh, what? A house, he was offered something. He wanted the money to, to go to Kansas, and Kansas uh, if you if you do something like that. Like we talked about earlier this year, you think these players, some of these players, need to be uh, paid for their services in college basketball? Oh, I can speak on that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Absolutely. Because when you look at it, they're getting paid anyway. We just don't hear about it until it's a big standard. So yeah. I think we hear we done heard about every single pair, player that they got play, that they got paid by somebody. Hell no. It's plenty of players that have made money outside of Chris Webber in Michigan Saddle. Like so if they bring it out in the open and just pay these players be compensated because if you ain't a superstar, these players ain't even got money to put in their gas tank. Like they ain't even got money to put food in their refrigerator. They be dang on. Y'all still there? Yeah, we here. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, because I hear somebody phone. Yeah. So. Oh, we here. A lot of times they getting compensated anyway. At least the big name. So. To, to take the scandal out of it, I just think that they need to, you know, pay those players. Because when you look at the coaches in the schools, how much they're making off of these minority, majority minority players playing for their organizations, putting all this money into those um, into those schools, then they they definitely should be making something. That's in my opinion. Okay. Anybody else? He's right, man. These schools are yeah, right. big. These big time schools, they're making millions, dude. They're making millions. You see a freaking football coach coaching a college team making 15 mil. Come on, man. He's coaching a college team making 15 million. Yep. Yeah. You know? Looking at this. Somebody's getting all. paid. Is that? Oh, yeah. Saving is. Saving is more powerful than the governor down there in Alabama. Like, like he got, yeah, he got way too much power. I think uh, Nick Saban like nineteen million a year, something like that. I might be wrong, something like that. Nineteen million a year. Uh, I know Coach K is he he something like ninety six point five for a certain amount of years. Um, I know he, you know, you know, boy, you know, ain't worried about nothing. Um, and I think, yeah, some of these, I think, I always said that I think that they need to put these players that they don't give them no million dollars, but give them something that they know they can take care of. They can go put some food in their, in their dorm rooms. They can buy some clo- a little bit of clothes, something like a like something you work for. You ain't got to give them everything, but give them yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but you know, man, a, a lot by. of you guys, a lot of you guys going to college, man, on full ride scholarships. They get money from just from that. And if you're on a scholarship, yeah. you got work study, so you're getting paid for that too. So it ain't like these guys walking around here broke. They have something in their pocket. It might not be what they want, but they do have some money in their pocket. And they don't but I think they're the using school. that. I mean, when you compare those scholarships to the money that these schools are actually making for to watch these kids play, like, it don't even compare. You know what I'm saying? Like, they shut the whole city down to watch these games. All merchandise is being sold. With their names and their faces on there, like these players ain't getting compensated uh, fairly. I think you know it should be an uproar, and it needs to be boycotted. Like I think it needs, like it needs to be addressed in Congress on how much it is a rip off, of, because it's majority of African American players. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at that ratio alone. I don't want to use the word slavery, but it's a form of slavery. And do I want to? I'm 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 trying to find another word outside of slavery. It ain't, it ain't <laughs> slavery, but but it it's definitely a big ass ratio to what these schools is making off of these players to what yeah. these players because you automatically think in your mind that. Oh, okay. This player gonna go pro, and he gonna make all this money. All these players don't get drafted to the league. 
You know what I'm saying? All these players don't make it in the in the NBA and the, in the NFL and stuff like that. So when mm-hmm. those, this is how I look at it. When you're 18, you're an adult. When you're doing something that gets compensation, you should be compensated for. So when you're a 19 year old in college and you're working at the library or you got this job or you got that job. They're getting paid, but when you're a football player or a basketball player or a baseball player, or blah blah blah, you're not getting paid. I, I think that just off of that logic alone, that is that is wrong. So, uh, yeah, that's that's true. It's very true. You're right about so. that. But um, like like. You know, which I consider like, you know, they should get free shoes also, things like that. What? I mean, I think the players? Of them already did that. I think, I yeah. think they'd they be sponsored by the uh, teams and stuff to get their uniforms and, and, and shoes or whatnot. But uh, I don't know. I just think it's something that needs to be done considering sports are, are mostly dominated by African Americans. And. And I feel like they're just looking at what players are getting paid in the professional realm versus the college realm when players are still adults, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now, they, now, it's also in WNBA that they feel like they're getting underpaid. Do you think, what, what do you think about that where they should be, they feel like they should be making what NBA superstars make? I don't think that they're saying that they should make what the NBA players make. I just think that they're saying they should be making more than what they're making. Okay. But contrary, when you look at their viewership is really down. Yeah. Fans don't really right. get excited about exactly. WNBA games. Exactly. They aren't getting um, the sponsors necessary to put the revenue into the league like that. So, but but at the same time they aren't getting promoted like that, you know. So we don't promote the WNBA NBA enough to draw interest in it in order for them to build their revenue. So if, if they promote it, and I think that was a a, a, a big thing with them, um, including the WNBA and 2K now. It's not, they got they they let you know WNBA players out there. But uh, oh, okay. I think that it needs to be promoted more in order for them to get more revenue. But you know, that's their contract, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anybody else? You yeah, said amounts for the fan base, man. You get, you know, so you make money off fan base. If you know, if you own a team, and you know, so your team's not pulling in revenue, then you don't have a fan base. How can you pay? You can't go broke. Pay your players. Exactly. You feel me? So you got to get that fan base and that promotion. You know, I feel like that. You can't. I'm not. I wouldn't. To be honest with you. I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, it's, it's a good yeah, talent there, though. I, I yeah, know, it's, 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 you know, it's you a good talent. Fill, you got to fill the arenas. You got to fill the coliseums. You got to sell the merchandise. If you're not doing that, you can't exactly. offer these chicks all this money. I'm not being sexist, but still, though, you can't offer them all this money. But, do you, do you see them standing? Do you see them the league stand? Um, about another couple of years, you see them gone. Not really, cause you not probably not. You know, probably not. Oh no, I don't believe in either. I'm not equal. Yeah, anymore. because the reason why I say that because a lot of the overseas in the women game is making revenue over there. But not mm-hmm. as the WNBA, you know, in this network. So that's why, you know, that's why I was asking. Because you, all the everything I hear and see, a lot of the women like to go overseas and play. Look at our uh, Dana Taurasi. Did she take a year off just to play overseas? And she played overseas, you know, you know, you know, on the off season. But I don't know she took a one year off just to play over there. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I don't follow. Women's basketball and stuff like that, but, but I, I I kind of feel the players is kind of discouraging when you look at the weakest NBA player 
make significantly more than the best WNBA players. So I kind of, you know, I kind of feel them on that, but at the same time, you ain't bringing in the money, you know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, could Cowboy fans staying quiet tonight? You know, check on Charles to see if you're all right. You know, uh, I'm not being Mr. Petty tonight. I'm going to let him ride tonight, you know. You know, uh, all right. Question, you all right? Never been better. All right, hey. All right, fellas, I'm going to get on up out of here. I appreciate y'all. All right. All right, right, bro. I'll see you Come back anytime. All right, man. Mr. Harris. All right, appreciate it. King C's. Where C's at? Uh, He's not here. Oh, he's not? Yeah, he, left, he, he, he had one back in the milk cart, and he left. Wow. Oh, man. Don't tell me he was on the milk cart, man. You had mm. one back in the milk mm. cart. Well, he was missing the ass. He just came back from L.A. with a private plane. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got to go back. Why you end up on the milk cart and you just, oh, just flew back right. from L.A.? Wow. They, you know, he said he can't take smack. it. Last weekend, remember that, Tim? Remember all the smack he talked about? I remember. Week? And I kind of think Chauncey talked a little smack, too. But, you know, I'm going to let Chauncey slide up. You know, always. You know, I'm going to let slide Always. Back. Always. But Chauncey said he won't worry about nothing. He's not worried yeah. about what, us dead skins. Yeah. You know? And what now? And then you say you won't worry about us, uh, us dead skins? <laughs> you know, oh, no. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, well, he did. You know what I'm saying? He was kind of like the solid. The situation ain't changed because y'all won today. I still feel the same way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, I'm going mm-hmm. to punt down because y'all won or something? I'm confused. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, we just, you know. Ain't going to punt him over no, 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 no this way now. You can count to that. <laughs> that, that <laughs> all you call Who called you for? Hey, no, I call you. You, you know, just you know, know. Did you call? I'm just letting, I'm just getting, I'm putting on the table. Ain't no punk. Who did call it? Ain't that? Who did? Same thing. Who just said? Same. Who just said it was? Last week, whatever I said last week, I still feel the same way. Who just saying? Cause Zeke just ran the ball. He ran 15 carries for 34 yards. You know, they didn't make you feel some type of way. Tim, y'all won. Y'all won. Yeah. yeah. Get get open. Get open now. Y'all won. No, oh, I know. Oh, I know that. I know we won. I still got my hand yeah. on doing the show. Who means? That's what it is. We <laughs> all won. Yeah, we did win. Wear the hat yeah. proud, buddy. Wear the hat proud. Oh, uh, he will. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I am. You know? Because I'm still, I'm still going to rock my cowboy gear proud. Hey, right, you should. That's your team. You should rock proud. You know, you should. I don't blame you. Yeah. I salute. I, I got. I'm, I'm touching my hat right now and salute everybody. Salute. It <laughs> <laughs> was a good one. It <laughs> was a good game. It was a good game. I love. I love. You know. It was, it was a little nail biting at the end, but you know. Hey, it is yeah. what it is. You win some, you lose some. You lose but some. You live another day. That's right. Yep. Yeah. That's it's right. always you next week. Just don't keep catching eels. That's all that matters. You got to keep winning. You keep catching eels now. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> now, next week, we just got, you know, we're going to New York next week and having those little giants for you. So, what the deal is. You know how we do. Come on, Cam. Let's yeah, we just keep quiet on that. Yeah, that's what I said. We lose to some BS teams, so I'm just gonna keep quiet. Yeah. I feel good right yeah. now because we beat the Cowboys. I don't care what nobody say. I'm feeling good right about now because we beat the Cowboys. I'm feeling great. They talk during the week, all that smack. Oh, y'all this, y'all that. Now we beat them. It's like they won and we lost. Yeah. It's like really. You know. Actually, I didn't say y'all were off the air. Y'all won the game. I said it from the beginning. That's right. That's right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk. I like Tony Tiger right now. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> you, probably, you probably got a big box right in front of you right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. I know y'all got a bye week next week, right? 
So y'all if, lucky. If I'm saying, if so y'all, y'all, y'all I'll be happy too. Y'all got to buy me next week, Chance. You know what I'm saying? Y'all good. So I'm saying, y'all have to worry about losing next week, but I don't know about the week after that. Uh, <laughs> oh, snap. Me, they got to go on um, in a couple weeks. Y'all safe right now, so that's good. Cool beans. Yes, y'all now we cut, y'all got to buy. We we win next week. We be five and two, and uh, y'all be three and four. That's what's up. That's what's Maybe, up. Man. I'm just asking what the I'm question. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just asking the, the question, Tosh. I'm happy, Brian, for the boys winning, man. I'm happy for you. I'm happy. <laughs> boys winning. I'm happy for them. Come on, Chauncey, man. Come on. We have to, like, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, look, look, man. Now, look, 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 look. I feel the same hey. way, Chauncey. If I was you, if, you know what I'm saying, be off with you. If I was you and then we lost tonight, I'd be kind of like, you know, I'd be talking on say I feel the same way you're feeling right now. You know, next question, next question, next question. But you're I'm not feeling that way, though, Fat. Y'all won. Y'all I'm feeling good won. right now. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Even I guess they're hard next week. Redskins won. Exactly. <laughs> but we were, oh, we called us Redskins Day, but we was called Deadskins last week. Exactly. <laughs> we was Deadskins <laughs> like last <laughs> Sunday, right? Yeah. Y'all sco- yo, yo, Tim, Tim. Tim. Give it up for you. I forgot I said something last week. They should have saved yeah. the points. They scored 20 points last week. I, I said that. They scored uh-huh. 20 points last week. That's why they couldn't score this week. Y'all might be able to borrow some of the points right quick. Yeah, they need some more points. They yeah, scored 40 last week. Y'all might borrow a couple of the points back. Some grad, boys, some grad to the board. Red, we them boys, so I know this. Notice, Red, notice Red, Chelsea Red, Wesley, we Red, them boys, Red, all right? We them boys. Turn it back, baby. Turn it back. We them boys. I don't care what you say. We them boys. Turn it back. Turn it back. We them boys. All right? We them boys. Turn it back. We them boys. I got a question. I got a question. I'm happy for y'all boys. Oh, I can't wait to see Steve Nix. I can't wait to see Steve Nix. Feel some more. Congrats. I can't wait to see But... I got a question, but then um, they scored 40 points last week, right? Right. Didn't we hear? Right. Didn't, didn't right. we hear? Right. Now, if I'm mistaken, let me know that the boys are back. That's why I heard. Yeah. Right. So right. they scored 40 points. They got big headed. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, right. uh, we're going to run through the Redskins. We scored 40 points on the Jaguars, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my God! I did hear that. Killing me, cat show. I did hear that. They killed yeah, him, man. It was fair. They is cutting yeah, up, boy. Yes, they is. That quarterback is. That guy's it was bad. Fair. Oh, I was just making yeah. sure Charles that was saying. Yeah, it was fair. He's a, he's a get what, out of me. No, about. but I'm saying what they're saying, you know, you know, that's talk like you talked last week. You know, that same. You know? I'm happy for y'all boys. That's why this Tim, that's why he by the cowboy fan. They're so arrogant. Win, win <laughs> or lose, they're very arrogant. Man. That's why that's why I don't like about it. They're arrogant. Win or lose. Win or lose. This woman do sit here and cry till y'all won or something. If they win, <laughs> they talking junk. If they Come lose, on. they talking ain't, junk. Ain't no kids over here, baby boy. I know Guess what? Take the L. Take the L. Take the L for the night. Take the L for this week. Y'all finally got y'all one. Congrats. Take that L. Do that. Y'all got y'all one. Take the L. Congrats. Take that L. I'm happy for y'all. Take the L. It was about time. I'm happy for y'all. Take that L. I don't hear that about time stuff. Take the L. About time. You going to hear it. Take the L. About time. Take that L. Yeah, that's what you sound like. Wear that L well. Yeah. Wear that L very well. Congrats. I'm happy. Look, we got to see them. It's not a dream. When you wake up in the morning, y'all lost. It's We got to see them face. We got to see them face. We got to see them face. Congrats. Hey, Thompson. Hey, Thompson. Congrats to y'all, boy. Hey, Thompson. Congrats to y'all, boy. Oh, 
man. Y'all come out here and y'all gonna out talk me now. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna go down like that. Y'all got me all pushed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push me straight right now. Hey, Chelsea. Who got you, bro? Am I making myself clear? Okay. The youngest okay, you know, and know what I'm saying. Boy. Boy. Y'all got to win. Oh. I took you two years. You did it. You did it. Took you hey. two years. But you did it. You did it. But it's done. It, you know what I'm saying? If yo, it it's doesn't done. matter how long it it's takes. Done. It's done. It don't. You're right. It's it done. Doesn't it doesn't matter how long it takes. Y'all got one. Be happy. Exactly. Be happy. Because exactly. 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 I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You're not happy for us, Johnson. You're not happy for us. Stop it. Stop it. You know you're not, Johnson. I'm happy for you, buddy. No, you're not, bud. Stop it, guy. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not playing. I know, but I'm just getting I'm not playing neither. I'm 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 just a fan of the sport. I'm just a fan of the sport. I just love it. I just love it. Exactly. I love it. I'm still a top boys fan. We still rocking and rolling. Ain't nothing changed. Y'all doing what? Y'all ain't rocking and rolling, but y'all, you know, y'all fans. I don't, I don't, I don't ain't know about the rocking and rolling. Ain't nothing changed. Oh, Are y'all making the playoffs? Are y'all making the playoffs? Yep. Are y'all gonna make nope. the playoffs? Nope. Yep. Nope. We'll make it. You think so? How? We'll make it. Not 2018. Maybe 2028. We'll make it. <laughs> we'll make it. It's about 10 years from now. That's 2018. He boy, no. Bro, he boy just happy, man, because it's time to got a ring. Look all that is, man. Yeah, we all should be happy. They ain't said nothing all year, all the last five years. They ain't heard nothing about no red skin fan. You ain't know their existence to the man. <laughs> <laughs> I emailed and text messages and Facebook been blowing up. <laughs> I didn't even know what your little Facebook friends <laughs> so they come out of the group talking about some red skins. Man, get out of here with that. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you at last year? Where were you at last year? Where were you at the year before that? Me and Tim, yo, y'all me and Tim been talking to y'all on Facebook Pat, for the last one, five years Pat, you plus. Got one. You got one, Pat. Tim, 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 you got seven. Exactly. Tim, how long? 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 On you Facebook, at least five years of better talking junk every season. Every season. Me and Tim, every year, man. Every you must be Facebook friends. No, oh, we season. probably won't, but you better ask. <laughs> only, 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 talk junk. Every only season. One come, only one that tried to talk junk is Tim. He'd be the only one, but ain't seen nobody else come across him to the night. Oh, I no. So I talk junk all people. the time. All the time. That's how it's supposed to be. Win or lose, talk junk. Exactly. You know? but, but at the same time, that's, that's what makes it fun and it makes the ratings go up. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's, what it's all that's about. why I told somebody. I told somebody tonight, y'all like, yo, the Redskins and Cowboys, that's the most watched rival game in NFL history. Yes, sir. And Who cares about other rivals? Nobody. Redskins and Cowboys make that money, man. And it, no, no matter what the record is, they still no gonna make their record. Uh, yeah, they gonna make yeah, their yeah, money. They still gonna go over. Yeah. Yep. They had to put that on CBS. You know, uh, your Fox always take care of the Redskins and Cowboys game. See, they put it on TV yesterday. Yep. Well, but, oh, man. You, Charles, are you good? I'm good, baby boy. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Always good. <laughs> Always All right, good. bro. All, All right, bro. Good. I can't believe yeah. he's gone. I was gonna ask him about that private plane. Well, where you gonna take the next flight? Yeah, I mean, yo, I didn't even get my speech. Yo, what happened? What's up with that? He, 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 said, he said it. See, he said it. But he tried to oh, get he it said? out before you got here. <laughs> oh, so he reneging on a nigga. He reneging. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, really? He reneging. Oh, you don't know. You know, right. here. Chauncey, we know you up here. We know you. I want you to know I'm up here. Ain't no running. No need to run. You know, no game run. over. L. You ain't got L, so wear it proud, baby. Wear the L until next time. All right? Until ain't next scared, time. Baby. Until next run, time. Wear the L proudly until next we time. We got a bunch of losses, buddy. This ain't the first one. 
Yeah. Are you right? Y'all do got much loss. You right about it. Damn, don't talk now. Like you ain't got none now. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all got a bunch of loss. Come correct. Y'all do believe. Y'all got a bunch of loss. We, we got two. We, we just got two this year. Listen, but listen, you know what, yep. Tim? Chompson, listen, Chompson, Tim, to be honest with you, I never worry about last year. I always worry about the yeah, exactly. and the future. I never worry about what happened last year because you can't cry or spill milk. You got to look no. at this year. I don't care then, how many times y'all beat us. That's in the past. Super, Super Bowl rings, yeah. that's in the past. This, 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 this year. Old news, right? like this this, this is old news. Like it's not old news. It's old news. It's old news for you because y'all took the L. We have this. We celebrate. Just like last week. We celebrate, baby. Celebrate. We celebrate. Tell them, Tim. Pump up the music. Tell them the music. We celebrate. Hey, it's our brother. Oh, man. Hey, I got to get you the hard head to do it now. <laughs> there you baby. go, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell us, we celebrate. Uh, uh, oh, man. All uh, right. I had me call my pastor. He probably upset right now. He probably asking God why right now. I'm a guy about pastor. Did he play today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably. That's what I forgot about that. Why? Why, Lord? I prayed so much. Why? Why? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I I I forgot about that. He probably had to double the ties and stuff. Yeah. He going to say this. He going to say next week, double up on the ties, (laughs) y'all. In the name of Jesus. Right, yeah. Y'all keep talking about TNT like that, man. He ain't here to defend himself. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 because he took off with a private plane. He ain't here to defend himself. Y'all can't talk about him like that, man. Oh, my God. He took God. off with a private plane. He got missing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all okay. told his wife, like, he, 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 he told his wife, like, hey, baby. Uh, call me about three minutes. Just call my name so I can get off the road. <laughs> <laughs> call my name, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, come on. Oh. Get up here, man. Can you get up here, man? Let them boys talk. So, look. Interception. Oh, my God. Interception, touchdown. Wow, they're going to kill the guys, yo. Man, they ain't don't know through a pick already for, for a touchdown. Yes, a pick six, too. Yes, sir. Man. So thirty or thirty seven now? Yep. I'm about to turn. Let me turn the skate or something. <laughs> Volleyball or something, dude. <laughs> I'm about to watch volleyball. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The bad thing about Chauncey, I'm not even you know what I'm saying I'm not even trying to talk smack about the red skin. It is what it is. Good game, but you know, I don't laugh so much. It's a, it's over with now. Yep. Tomorrow's another so, day. Yep, I'm watching soccer yep. now. Female soccer. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, look, we can't talk to season about another bit. We're going to make a bit for, um, for Thanksgiving. Wow. And you don't want to say I'm the you, you know? Yeah. But it's all right. It is all right. right, right. Well, I would have hit him up before you get on that private plane. Yeah. That's a, that, that was a long flight well, from L.A. Yeah. Well, so we're about to get out of here. Uh, all right. This, next week, same bat time, same bat channel. All right. All right. Y'all got a great week, man. Be all right. Y'all have a good night. night. Hey. All right, champ. All right. All right, fam. All right, fam. All right. All right. All right, y'all have a good one and catch y'all next week. Pat, you still here? Pat. No, he just got off. I'm let me know that we still them boys. <laughs> 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 All right, fellas, I'll catch y'all next week. All right, man. Same time, same place. All right. 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 All right.